Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we are talking about the change logs for season 4 of penguin.gg skyblock now yes this gameplay in the background is not skyblock it is bedwars but ignore that this is going to be a more talkative episode so let's get straight into this new features main one is the custom fishing Fishing is getting a massive update. They'll be able to get loads of rare fish that can sell for various amounts of money. There'll be lava fishing, um, aquatic deboss armor, and fishing island upgrades, for example. This is a big thing, as it could change the meta in the early game and even the late game with lava fishing. The next major change is to do with the leaderboards. There will now be a solo island leaderboard so if you don't want to go on a team and you want to be by yourself you can you can go for the leaderboards by yourself there'll be um a top five solo island npc at the spawn and there'll be weekly payouts for solo islands first place getting thirty dollars second place getting twenty dollars fifteen dollars ten dollars and then five dollars for fifth place now there's reworked payouts for team islands. This starts at $75, down to $50, $35, $25, and 15 There's also reworked personal missions with all brand new categories and tasks, 10 total mission tiers, better rewards, uh, even like new cosmetic tags. Uh, leaderboards are changing for all the grinding tasks. Uh, this will track daily, monthly, weekly, and all time. The grind pass, another big change. The grind pass is being reworked and updated for different rewards. Uh, this will be new processes for all grinding, so I'm guessing that includes mining, slaying monsters, and farming. Uh, probably even fishing, maybe. Who knows? It could be. I don't know. Uh, there will be a daily login streak. Uh, so that means we just do slash daily login, you get rewards, and so forth, and you know, so that's the major changes. But there are general changes that you will need to know. So the Nether this season has been removed. They're going to rework it and maybe bring it into next season. Uh, there's slash bounty, which is going to be added in. There's new um, ways to enchant work. So the molten enchant on pickaxe will work on ancient debris now, and multi kill and silk touch will be able to be added to axes. Uh, you can also now obtain skin keys in cosmetic crates, so don't throw them out. I know before they were kind of a bit useless, but now you can actually open loads of cosmetic crates and you might get a chance of getting a skin key, which is going to be very good. There will be a new enchant, and I'm very thankful for this one, that allows you to insta-break ancient debris. Now, this has been a pain for me in Season 3. Mining ancient debris could have just set me back a decent bit in terms of speed. And the next thing is a toggleable auto cell for super big axes. This is also great. I'm very happy with this. Um, and also we got slash settings like changes. Uh, co-owners can now claim missions. So if you are on a team and you are a co-owner, you can now claim the island mission rewards. And we are going to be removing the slash no ores and replacing it with slash is set ore gen. Uh, this will be able to change a level from max if you have it unlocked to the beginning. That way you can still get the sort of no wars effect or as much cobblestone as possible. Uh, slash mob drops. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, island chat color. Um, that would be quite cool. Uh, so you can item in island chat now as well. Uh, Mastery's crafting table is changing I think. Uh, Reroll for daily missions. Uh, all ranked kits changed to netherite. Pretty cool. Uh... Added saplings and sticks to log hoppers. Not really big changes. Uh, yep, updated experience to colossal and ancient armor. Don't know what that means, but updated. Next is some more major changes. The economy changes. The entire economy of the server has been reduced by 50% and cactus price is also being reduced. Uh, uh, island values are going to be changed as well so netherite will now be worth 250 emerald will be worth 100 diamond 50 gold 25 iron 15 and copper 5 i don't know if it changes hoppers it doesn't really say but we'll see in future uh, xp shop has been reworked of new items i will love to see this because the xp shop before was pants uh, soul shop has also been rechanged so that could be quite cool uh, exposed copper is now sellable thank god trying to sell that from chest was very annoying i have to throw it all away 
Uh, mob mastery cell boosters. I've now been moved to the tier six unlock, which you know, make of that what you will. Uh, you can withdraw souls now, so you can. I think you can sell souls. Uh, ore blocks to mastery cell boat. Uh, ore blocks to mastery cell boost. Uh, island cell boosters are now non-tradable. Uh, MTMO level up difficulty increased, and infused skulls will now provide two times H tokens because the mob armor has been removed. Uh, Re-enabled mastery minion trading. Um, lucky block scale with reworked rewards. Reworked boss pouches with improved rewards, so it could actually be worth opening those, even though we'll, we'll have to see what the rewards are like. There's now going to be an island XP bank. Vote parties reworked with better rewards. Um, buffed summoner currency drops, which could be quite cool. And there'll be a new island upgrade, the better farming upgrade. This is two levels. You get the lightless crops and the waterless sugarcane. Now, this does come at a cost because Skycoin requirements for these island upgrades have been increased... Um, I'm not sure how much it doesn't say, but we will see when the se uh, uh, when the season starts. But yeah, that is all of the main changes to Skyblock. So anything else that is like small or minor bug fixes, we'll probably end up finding out tomorrow. Um, but as of this being released, Skyblock will be out tomorrow at 4 p.m. BST, the 30th of June. So yeah. I'll see you then. I'll probably have a video up as soon as it comes out. That way I can record a video, show you what is good and what is different ways. I've done a bit of testing myself on another server which has this, these plugins already. So we, I can try and find the best way. And yeah, we'll see what happens then. Uh, I'll see other than that. There's nothing. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Farewell. Actually, I'm going to hold you right there. This Bed Wars gameplay in the background, would you like to see more of it? Because I will upload more bed wars content if you want to um i'll leave just comment down below if you want to see more of it and if you don't because i enjoy playing bed wars every now and then so recording it could be a nice little way to add more content but yeah that's all for now i will see you guys later goodbye farewell peace